Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your mid-January to February reading of this current year. It is I, your hostess. Anyway, um, y'all, I'm doing a new layout this year. I'm going to lay out cards and then start the reading. Um, this actually gives me a better indication of what's going on before I actually get started, which I've never tried before. So it's mainly just me shuffling and laying the shit out and then like looking it over and be like, oh, that's way more of a precise story than what I thought it was, right? So everybody, this is for the sign of Aquarius, moon and sun, moon, rising and Venus. Please check your charts, right? If this resonates with you, sweet. If not, don't worry about it. Just boop your nose, away it goes. There's no point in worrying about shit that ain't about you, nor your damn business, right? Right. Because what people say and think about us are definitely none of our business. All right, so Aquarius, look at this, right? You are kind of um, dealing with a situation, I feel like, where it's hard for you to get away from something. But it, you guys are always trying to escape something. Like, something's going to be there to be like, hi, I want you to stay forever. And you're just like, for what? Ugh. And then occasionally you guys might try climbing out a window. You never know. You never, you never really know. Lord knows there's been times with my Aquarius moon where I've jumped out of a moving car just to escape a situation. Because I have too many times. It probably won't be the last time, though, you know. I'm still young enough to where I can take a hit. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, look at this, right? You are very indecisive right now with the Justice card. You can't make a head over heart decision about pretty much how you want this failure to go. And looking back on everything, it feels like you kind of did it to yourself, right? Now you got the hangman here where it's like you're wasting time trying to look like a martyr for a wish fulfillment. It's like kind of like holding up some sort of ethical value, I feel like, too. Oh god, this one has ads because it's not live. Like the channel I'm using normally would be like a live stream of music. And no, it's a video because they're not streaming live for some reason, but whatever. I just work here. Now, anyway, this wish fulfillment where it feels like you're wasting time being a martyr keeps getting scalped, la, 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 stalled. My bad. By a king of wands. My Jesus could be Pisces, so you could be dealing with the Pisces as well, who's just wasting their time and wasting yours as well. But it's being halted by some fire sign, possibly Leo, Sag, or Aries. Fears of rejections got gotcha, you in a burden. Making you feel like this is going to be a lot harder to get away from than what I what than the typical average um, escape plan. Fuck! Like I actually have to put extra effort into this. <laughs> how this shit starts and how it'll end, though, is you still waiting to pretty much escape. So you're pretty much playing a waiting game, Aquarius. Once again, trying to get away from shit that like doesn't help. The enter the beginning theme or whatever. Um, five of cups right here. Ugh. Or you're waiting for a jail sentence to, like, go up. I don't know, but it's like, damn, dude. Uh, give me a few, dear. I gotta do Aquarius. That's my friend Lisa. She's the shit, man. Okay. Yeah. You might be... This is either a counterpart, or this is like either... Well, this should be you, Aquarius. But you never know. It could be you. It could be the person you're dealing with, Aquarius and Quas Watcher. I have no idea. I'm just the messenger, right? But you figure out who it is. Or knows I'm not that smart. Or at least I try not to be in front of people, or else like, they figure it out. I'm just like, shit. You know? Honestly, people are... Yeah, I don't know. The other day, I got into it with some dude at work, and, uh, well, he kind of did some stuff that kind of, like, got to me, and I let him know that, and he was just like, I'm really impressed you pay attention to details. Like, I didn't realize you are that smart. And then that gets scary, because then people realize how intelligent you are when you show them how much you are, and then it's just like, you don't need to bring up how smart I am all the time. I like being dumb sometimes, man. Let me be like the dumb people. Yeah, you might be sitting there sensing that, like, you know, you're not getting shit from this man. Like, 
it, it's like you got your eyes closed, but you can feel the shit. You can't see it, but it's like you're using the force. However, down below in this situation for y'all, Aquarius and Cross Watchers, um, you might not know what the truth is in all of this. Dealing with him, too, because he's watching you, paying attention to everything you do. And you don't know how it's going to... It, hmm. Does he want you for love or money? Or was that an assumption that you made when dealing with this person? Hmm. Let's try one more, Aquarius, because I am curious now. You know. Hmm. It's like you don't know if it was the right choice to walk away because it, it kind of made you comfortable, but at the same time, it's like, God damn. Ugh. You know? Let's see. Wants and wishes, right? This possible Pisces, but it's like being a martyr in order to get a wish or whatever or trying to hold up some regulation, but it's like wasting time, you know? Uh, gotta realize that, like, you're not getting shit out of this no matter how much you wait. Pretty much it's all barren. It's making you a zombie. In fact, it's probably driving you crazy to try to keep up. Are you trying to keep up an image for somebody or keep trying for somebody? Because that's what I feel like. It's like, you know, yeah, I could keep trying for you, but it'd only be for money, not for love. Like, why? why like, it, it's turning me nuts. I'm losing who I am because of this, you know? Why do I keep waiting for something that isn't going to happen? Why is it not going to happen? Because this dude's just sitting on his throne, not doing anything with the Eight of Wands reverse and the King of Wands. Lost his shit and just turns back. Or that could be you, Aquarius, doing it to this guy, right? And still mourning the fact that, like, this love went blue or dead. Maybe got choked out or something. I don't know. I always think that with the blue. It's like, oh, it's cold and dead. It's not technically dead, but it's frozen or whatever. Us in the wants and wishes, right? You feel like it's going to be a longer burden than what it is. King of Swords right here. Counterparts of the Queen of Swords. There are a lot of counterparts, guys. But he's standing in his truth, but I don't know what he's going to say, but it might be... Oh, okay. He's not... You're... Mm. Are you expressing there's not going to be a new start, or is dude? Because it looks like you turned your back here, but here he is again, and I really feel like that the kings are your counterparts, Aquarius. Even though you're more masculine, you know. But still, it... it, it, it I don't know. It's like... Either you're going to have to voice it, but you're afraid you're going to have to voice it. Or you're afraid they're going to voice it. You, know. you want to leave. You're waiting to leave. But you're keeping your intuition to the back of your head. It's like, you know it's back there. But there's no expression of it. Like All you see is the high priestess back. About how you've been left out of the cold. You not want to tell somebody how they made you feel. Or are you waiting to tell somebody, like, no, I'm not left out in the cold. I'm just done with this relationship. Fucking ads. Just ruin that experience. All static and stuff. Just hearing advertisements and stuff. Trying to get you to buy things and sell things. Ugh. It's so distracting and disgusting, really. The way, like... My cat, like, scratches at the door frame. Sir? Thank you. Let's see. The ending theme... Yeah, something quick is going to happen with this Five of Cups right here. I don't know if you're going to have regrets, Aquarius. I think you just have regrets about how things have went down, but I don't think you regret the decisions you've made. I mean, you might regret that... Bro. Fuck off the door, man. Yeah. That's right. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. But yeah, Aquarius, it's like, you're not regretting the choices you've had to make, you're regretting why it had to go down, you know. I think you realize this offer isn't coming because it, it, it would be more costly to you one way or another than anything. It'd be like having to get rid of a pest that won't go away. It's like bed bugs. You have to, like, just get rid of it all. You just you throw it all in the trash and be done with it, you know. Yeah. And start something new. Mmm. Like, is it really worth the bugs in order to get this new start with this individual? Or do you just need to understand that, like, you just need to cut your losses and get going? It could be either or with you. You're probably going back and forth in your head about it. 
honestly. Down in the situation, there is an emperor here. Thank goodness both he and the king of swords are upright. Someone's in control, at least. Um, but they're rebelling. Yeah, I think you're establishing your own pace, Aquarius. I don't think... It's like you don't want to leave the situation with whoever. But... If you don't have your autonomy, what's the point of following the rules? You know, you follow the rules in order for them to have, like, certain boundaries and shit. But you don't like being told what to do, because who the fuck are you? You know? Oh, okay, thank you. Weird, but whatever. I don't know, I just got something. I don't know what it was. <laughs> so, let's see. Your wants and wishes, Aquarius. Somebody will do anything to halt anything when it, in regards to these two aces right here. It's pointing right at it. Like, oh, no, no, no. You're going to take this offer. Oh, no, no, no. You're not going to start something new with me without me. Um, oh, they might even try to shoot you down. Could be a queen of pentacles. They might even try to offer you something shiny and pretty to be like here. But don't you take that because that's the fucking pentacle. Don't you do it. Get infections and shit. Like, ugh. They might not even leave your house. They might be a bed bug themselves and just not leave. Ugh. Turn that down some. There we go. Certain songs just get so loud. Um, the obstacles and challenges here, though, it's like... Aquarius and Cross Watchers, it's kind of like they drove you away. But then still acted like it's what they wanted, when in reality it's really not what they wanted. They just want to play fucking head games with you, and it's getting on your fucking nerves. But you know, we already knew that. You got a book? Yeah, they fucked themselves. You played yourself. Good job, man. Good job. Worked beautifully. Person didn't fucking die, though, and now they're just living their best life. Look at her in her fucking streaming jest. She threw her glove down like, I am greater! The Michael Jackson. I don't need to moonwalk today. I'm just gonna play in my goddamn flowers. You know, that's what you wanted. That like that's what they're noticing is that you're really actually really happy without them. <laughs> and now they can't come back home. Oh my god. Like that's funny. That's what they get for being a dick, I guess. <laughs> Unless that's you, but that's what you get for being a dick too. But you know, no judgments here. It's just what happens, right? They might be getting sloshed and their horse is dragging them back into town, you know. Embracing that line, being like, oh, I'm a strong person. I can do this. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Their feelings keep getting thrown in their face like they're dropping water on themselves. And then getting all mucky about it. Ha, <laughs> mucky. That's funny. Anyway. <laughs> Aquarius, I, every time I read for you guys, you guys always put me in the right mood because it's like my vibration right there. But it's probably because I'm Aquarius Moon, so I'm totally, like, vibing with y'all. It's just like, fuck that noise. Like, who told you you can talk to me that way? <laughs> uh, let's see. Fears and rejections, right? Either you speaking that you don't want this shit. No, they're coming to speak to you about you not starting something new. That's what this is. So, yeah, the, the kings are your counterpart. But they want to try to, but he's, but this person's going to try to come in like a queen. Like, I got so much to offer you. No, don't, no, no, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. They're coming in as a queen like they're your people. No, this is a king and he should know better. He's trying to come in and say, hey, I don't want you starting something new. But you know, if you take that pentacle, it's going to lead to some nasty shit. And it's just better to start something new because that's what's going to happen anyway. Like, this, it, like, it's like, if you take it, it's probably not the best idea, man. Yeah, they don't offer shit. Like, what are you going to give me not to do this? What are you going to do to convince me not to, like, go with the way you want me to go? You know, because I don't see nothing that's leading me anywhere. It's like, they don't want this situation, but every time you look on your phone or look wherever you're looking at in order to move forward with this person, they don't give you shit. They might say they'll give you shit, but that's bullshit and just something to keep bugging you about it. Hint, hint. And it, it, it's going to lead you to go to a new start anyway, man. Like, I don't know what this is. Not, like, mm, I'm not sure what this is. 
it's like a separation or a divorce or something and someone just does not want to fucking get separated or divorced but they aren't doing what they're supposed to do in order not for that not to happen and that's kind of getting on my nerves and it's just like what the fuck man like just do what you're so, what you were going to do or you were to say to do and maybe this shit will blow over you know Aquarius are easy to forgive you know as long as you say I'm sorry that's like that's the thing you have to say that or else it's not going to happen and it's like like just give me my I'm sorry and then we can move past this and it'll be fine but they won't give it to you and it's like why don't you just apologize for the shit you know like whoever I'm getting into here I understand your frustration I am angry with you and you know I wish this person had a brain to realize how easy it is you know just do this one thing and we'll be cool if you can't do that one thing go elsewhere with your shit you know How does shit start, how it'll end? Intuitively, I think that you are keeping in the back of your mind that like they're just gonna leave you out in the cold. Or you have them on your mind because you know that they're out in the cold, but that's their own goddamn fault, so. This person's pissing me off. <laughs> like, I'm not pissed off with the person who's picking this up. I'm pissed at the person they're dealing with because they keep offering bullshit. Like, whoever that queerin' is in this, it's, it's like they don't like they're not even offering bullshit and that's even worse like they're not even trying to like I guess lie or whatever but they're not saying anything that's gonna help in fact I feel like they almost want to say even worse shit which who knows what that is right there needs to be balance in this situation maybe you feel like you need to give homage in this Aquarius and cross watcher maybe you're just like well you know we like I've known this motherfucker forever look at how old he is I can't just leave him out here in the cold feeling all sick and shit here go get you a honey bun honey you know don't don't you fucking do it don't you do it don't do no no they will drag you down you are you're trying to give them something you're the dude in red this person's gonna grab you by the arm and like curb stomp you like american history x no no don't do that don't do that i'm pulling one more don't give no because they're gonna try to drag you into their shit again you know trying to hug that lion like i love you and i'm never letting you go my name's elvira you know that's their whole like mission is to get you back in their arms no and this dude's handing you coins she's handing you a coin that coin is shit and it's still gonna lead to the same beginning that they didn't want you to go off with so no no hell no there's an easy way and there's a hard way do not take the hard way because it's just gonna lead exactly to where you were to begin with, it's like sliding doors with Gwyneth Paltrow and whoever the fuck else, right? Sure, you can go through that door, you cannot go through that door. The ending will still be the same. Just in different order. Anyway, Aquarius, that's the end of your reading. So if you enjoyed this, please like, share, subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to, but yeah, I would appreciate it. But yeah, it's whatever. Your judgment, of course. However, I love you guys' faces. I will see you next time. Bye-byes.